Okay, so here we are back at my school page. If you look, it says that my council membership and signature form is completed. Now I can move on to the principal assurance. The purpose of the principal assurance is to make sure that your council was legally and lawfully set up according to state law and state board rule. So the principals are required to complete this assurance every year. Let's take a look at these questions. I asked Mary the answers, so I'm not just making things up. Question one, the school community council has been trained about their responsibilities and their requirements of these sections of code. Those are the sections of code that the legislature has created that teach, train, rule over, manage school community councils. They have all of the laws and requirements there. Mary did this training in her first meeting. Second, in a faculty meeting last year, the faculty was provided with an explanation of how the school is spending the funds and the amount of money the school received from the program during the year. This is not required, but is considered a best practice. We have a training document on our website that you can use and fill in the blanks to provide your faculty with this information, or it can just be a brief item on the faculty meeting. Mary did do this, so I'm going to click yes. Finally, 3A. Councils are required to provide certain notices to parents and make sure meetings are open to the public. The public is welcome to attend meetings. An agenda with the date, time, and place of the meeting is posted on the school website with draft minutes of the prior meeting at least one week in advance of each meeting. That is required by code. Mary did that. If you didn't do that, click no, answer down at the bottom why you didn't, and say that you just need additional training and we will help with that and your district will help with that. 3B, this is a list of summaries that are required to be on the school website before October 20th. A meeting schedule for the year, a list of the council members with their direct contact phone number, email, or both, and a summary of the prior year's final report. Mary has those on her website. Now, how were parents without internet access noticed? She notified them in a parent meeting and also has a paper copy posted in the office. Okay, now 3C, does the website also display a copy or link to the current school improvement plan? We were unable to change this in time. Please understand they're talking about the um, TSSP, the success plan there. We will have that changed for next year's reporting. The rules of order and procedure, the dollar amount, and an invitation for parents. There are samples of these documents on our website, or if you need them, give me or my um, team a call. Mary has this. And this right here asks about the digital citizenship requirement. In your prior year, did the council receive and discuss a report from the district about internet filtering, technology, reporting policies, practices, and training? This, and then did the council ensure that training was provided if it was needed? Mary did this. I'm going to click yes. Now the election process. You have to put the day that you noticed your election. Mary noticed her election on August 6th, 2019. The election date. It was not necessary, but it would have been 10 days after this notice. So I'm going to put The notice of election was 10 days in advance. There was a list of open positions and how to file and when the elections would be held. Yes, Mary's notice had that. Now, Mary also did not have enough parents apply to have to hold an election. So I get to click yes here because a secret ballot election was not required. Now, this is about the employee positions. Again, Mary did not have enough employees apply that she needed to do a secret ballot election. So I say yes. Now, a secret ballot election was held at the school. Right here, we've shown that she didn't need to hold one. So we're going to click no. 
And on this, we're going to say no because there was not an election. The parent members were elected by parents. Again, we didn't have an election. And that employee members filled employee positions and parents filled council positions. This was not necessary. Now, if you had not noticed your elections correctly, or if you had not had the proper information on your website, you could come down here and explain your no answers. This is a compliance document that's required by the legislature. So make sure that what you're saying on this document is correct and that you explain any no answers so that your district and our staff can provide additional training and oversight if necessary. Now, Mary has given me authorization to sign for her, so I get to check the blocks and submit. I get to put not applicable here. It wouldn't let me submit. And now let's try it again. Submit. And we are done with the principal's assurance. Let's go to the final report.